Hi, welcome to Hymns with Ken. This channel was created in hopes that it would reach those who are shut-ins or simply cannot go to church to participate in worship. This channel is also meant to reach out to those who have never heard these older and powerful hymns of the church. My prayer is that you would be ministered to by God's Holy Spirit as you listen, either for the first time or for the hundredth time. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you will receive all the new updates that I am able to post. Near the Cross, written by Fanny J. Crosby. Usually when writing a song, the words come first, then the music is composed to it. But sometimes Fanny Crosby worked backwards and fit words to the tune. Fanny J. Crosby, born in 1820, passed in 1915, was the author of over 8,500 gospel songs. Though blind at six weeks of age, Crosby began composing texts at age six. She later became a teacher at the New York School for the Blind, where she was a student. A friend of several presidents, Crosby became one of the most important advocates for the cause of the blind in the United States. In the case of this hymn, William Doan wrote a tune and then asked Fanny Crosby to listen to it to see if the tune said anything to her. This hymn's tune reminded Crosby of the cross and its importance in our lives. She knew the cross of Christ is the central point of history. Without the cross, there is no salvation, no eternal life, and no hope. And if we don't stay near the cross, we lose our focus in life. We sometimes forget the cross is crucial for salvation, but also for daily life. Many writers have commented on Fanny Crosby's ability to employ the technique of hypotyposis, painting a vivid scene as if it were present, even though she was blinded soon after birth. The famous evangelist Dwight L. Moody was said to have asked Crosby the following question toward the end of her life. If you could have just one wish granted, what would it be? Moody expected her to ask for her sight. Sensing this, she is said to have replied, If I could have one wish, I'd wish that I might continue blind for the rest of my life. Moody was taken back and asked, How can you say that? Crosby said, because after being blind for all these years, the first face I want to see now is the face of Jesus. The eschatology theme of Near the Cross captures the hope and joy of heaven that is so characteristic of Crosby's hymns. Till I'm raptured, soul shall find rest beyond the river.